Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for Undead Unluck episode 22. We've got three episodes left of this uh, great, great show. Even though, in my opinion, it has fallen off is the wrong word because last episode was really damn good. Last episode is kind of the epitome of what made me fall in love with Undead Unluck as a series as, as a whole. But the episodes leading up to that, I kind of fell out of love for a little while. Um, if that makes sense any sense at all i kind of fell out of love in the sense that i i don't know i i don't know it, it just parts of it were not good that that's all i'll say some of the extensive recaps and just a lot of it really took me out of the show if that makes any sense last episode was phenomenal though i hope we're going to be able to backpack off of that and have another great episode today so uh in the last episode we saw fuko go back into andy's past back into the 1860s like just post civil war so like the civil war just ended uh or it, it, it was sometime after the civil war she spent a lot of time with andy got to know him he taught he told her about some of it the, the earliest memory that he has so we will um we will see where that takes us exactly so yeah we will, we will see where that takes us and she essentially went back to from everything that I have gathered and from a lot of what your comments said, she went back to the day Lincoln was assassinated. And so a lot of people are theorizing that Andes takes the bullet for Lincoln and somehow that turns him into Andy. So like Victor takes the bullet for Lincoln to save the president's life and that somehow transforms him into Andy. But we are gonna find all that out in this episode, which I'm very, very excited for so per usual feel free to check out the patreon and discord links in the description for both of those as far as the discord goes we have anime conversations current anime conversations past anime conversations god i'm really struggling to get this out today past anime conversations current manga conversations past manga conversations and overall non-anime conversations as well and as far as the patreon goes you get exclusives and uncuts to all my reactions so feel free to check out either of those of your own will but now without further ado let's hop straight into undead and luck episode 22. Mm. Oh, that is totally Jui's and Victor. Mm -hmm. That's Apocalypse right there. I get to see you again after I die, huh? Whoa! Ooh, that's cool. And then Andy comes alive. I'm not gonna relinquish to anyone. Oh God. Oh God, what the hell happened? You can't just show us these flashes like this and not tell us what happens. Come on now. It looks like Jewie's was gonna put the card in his forehead for whatever reason, we don't know what the falling out between them was, but she was gonna put the card in his forehead, but it seems like maybe he stopped her the way he was saying, I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm gonna need more details on that. Washington, DC. Um, hi, Victor. Oh my God, she pulled out. Eh, uh, well, you'll warp to the next chapter of my memories. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. Raise your soul while it's still in the book. Mm, but Andy dies here. Or not Andy, Victor dies here. Dies. He gets sealed here. This is literally the day that Andy said his earliest memory occurs. So it's I, I don't know if Victor is like I don't know if Victor knows this. I'm not I'm not quite sure about that. Mm. Yeah, we barely sealed Victor away last time. Barely sealed him away. Oh damn. She tossed the- she tossed the gun. Forever meeting him unlock. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Yeah, he just popped her in the forehead. 
Was that her dying over and over? Where is she now? Oh, there is literally herself. Is this the day she tried to... Oh my god, Victor's still here. What on earth? What is happening? Hmm. Oh, I see where the opening comes from. I see where the opening comes from now. I get it. Victor starts following her throughout all of the memories to kill her over and over and over again. But this is the day that she tries to kill herself. That's what this day is. And Andy is gonna show up at this, this exact location. Like Victor just took out the Fuko that was supposed to try and kill herself here essentially. But as as you guys clarified for me, they in this like, Fuko is not directly affecting the event. The events are still gonna happen no matter what. She is just rewriting parts of Andy's memory of the events. The actual events do not change. She is just rewriting Andy's biography by being there essentially. And so Victor is traversing through said biography right now and that's where the opening fight comes from of Victor and Andy fighting in Shinjuku. Is that's what's gonna happen here essentially. Oh my god. Deadline? That is terrifying. Whoa! Oh my god! And he makes his blood explode too? Holy Victor's a beast. Well, Shinjuku is gone. This time I will make sure to... Whoa! Yeah, there he is! Oh! Okay, Andy! <laughs> Look who turned into a big cry, baby. <laughs> so this is not the current Andy. This is not our very current Andy. This is still the Andy who... The, the only reason this Andy knows Fuko is because of the past in his biography now. We still have not caught up to current Andy, obviously. Who knows a lot more about Victor and a lot more about himself. Oh, God. Will extinguish her soul. Oh my god. Killing her. Yeah, so he's gonna kill Fuko, get outside, and kill Juiz. I'm assuming that's what he's saying here. Okay, hang on. Yeah, there's someone I need to kill once I get you. Juiz. He's gonna go try and kill Juiz, essentially. She's someone I need, and I'll defend her if it kills me. To be fair, that vortex bullet by Andy. Okay, so hang on. Before we get into this, let's. I, I want to think about this for a second. So that vortex bullet by Andy was something he's never used. We have never seen current Andy use that. I truthfully believe that Fuko going to the past, talking to the Andy in the past and essentially um changing his view on death and everything made him start learning about his negator a lot earlier on than he does in our current timeline i think the reason he he, he knows so few techniques with his un, undead like in our current timeline is because his outlook on death and everything kept him very kind of down and depressed after his friends died in the original timeline but fuko being there helped change his outlook and so maybe he started using undead a lot earlier on and learned a lot more abilities which is exactly what Anno was talking about in the sense that Andy was going to eventually was going to learn more about himself and become stronger and Fuka was going to learn more about herself and become stronger through uh this experience and essentially Fuka rewriting Andy's biography is going to help him learn more moves and become stronger because of it I love how he's got a bunch of names for everything. Oh my god. Now it's one of those things where if he kills Fuko, it's over. Whoa! That's so cool! Yeah, he's got so many new abilities. Yeah. Ooh! Oh 
Oh my god. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's also solidified his blood now, too. Victor doesn't really seem like he's trying, though, I'm gonna be honest. It really does not seem like Victor is trying all that hard to fight back. Yeah, meeting Foucault in the past improved Andy to this drastic of a degree. The previous Andy, like our current Andy, could not do like any of these moves. He just couldn't. Oh God. Oh, he backed up real quick. Eey! Literally destroyed buildings with that cut. Oh, oh my God. Dead road. This is so cool. That's the point. That is the point. We need the unluck to fight back. Relay the message to my future self. Yeah. <laughs> Unluck bullet? What? What does that mean? Man, I'm loving this episode. I am loving this episode. We're, like I said, the past two episodes are really getting back to the roots of what made me love this goddamn series so much, and it's been great. <laughs> Go get him, Andy. Whoa! There go the fingers. So that unluck is following those fingers. They don't need to, brother. They do not need to. First! Woo! There you go. Oh my god. Really? That's so cool. Yeah. Woo! But now he's getting unlucked to affect each of his individual fingers. One stroke of unlucked. Uh, unlucked? One stroke of unluck is affecting every single one of his fingers. Oh man, I'm loving this. But that ain't true at all. <laughs> oh my god. Andy is actually putting up a fight against Victor right now. However, I damn well please. That's so cool. That is so cool. Foucault changed his outlook on life, and so he just essentially decided I'm I'm tossing logic out of the That's why that's why Andy is so weak in his current state in the current world. That is why he's so weak. Because he's bound by it's like what Ano Un said in episode 20. You can't don't negators should not bound themselves by logic and rules. That ruins your ability. And that, now that Andy has freed himself from those shackles, he is infinitely stronger than before. And is able to actually keep up with Victor now. I can come back from anywhere. Whoa! Oh! I actually got a hit in on him. How we perceive the rules. What?! Okay, I feel like you, some of you guys have talked about it before, but I've generally speaking, either way, I have generally speaking tried to not read those comments very much because I had a feeling they would explain how that works in this world eventually, and that's what they're doing now. But some of you guys have kind of lightly explained that with negators, you are free to perceive them however you want. The negator user... That person, however they perceive, perceive their ability to work, the ability is going to adapt and work in that way, which is so cool. Like, don't bound yourself by all these rules that you think are reasonable within your negator. No, that limits what your ability is able to do in the first place. Uh, that is such a cool concept for how abilities work. Oh my god. God of War Victor. In comes another unluck bullet. Oh my god. A whole plane hits him. Jesus Christ. Interesting how I still don't think we're gonna see Andy's origin, are we? I still don't think we're gonna see how Andy came to be, at least not yet. 
From what it seems like, Victor has tossed Fuko back to the present. I don't know if there's going to be a way for her to go all the way back to before Andy became Andy again, because Victor will just hunt her down again. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. But also, earlier in the episode, when we were when we were seeing, like, the um, ripple effect, was that Fuko dying over and over and over and over and over again? I think it was. I legitimately think it was Fuko dying over and over and over again until she got to this present. Oh god, what is that? Oh god. Are they gonna catch Victor? Oh, is that his unluck here? These two just might be what? What? Oh man, that was so good. <laughs> He's a deviant. Yikes. Damn, that fight was so cool. It'd be a shame to leave without learning everything possible. You can bust out of there anyway, can't ya? Yep, there you go. Okay. He's just not dressed anymore. Oh god, she punched it! Ow. That can't have been comfortable. <laughs> Cut that out! <laughs> That's funny. Alright, well... It's a very good starter question. Yeah, this Andy has no idea who that is. When she grabbed that gun artifact. Oh no! Yeah, no, that was Apocalypse flooding her mind. Not the, not the gun, not the gun. <laughs> I love this soundtrack, by the way. So something happened and they had a falling out and couldn't win. Hundreds of millions of years. Victor has been alive for hundreds of millions of years. Oh my god. Jesus. She wouldn't give up. Wow. She isn't immortal. Mm. There you go. Yep, basically how it is. That was a sign of evolution. Oh. Yeah, but that time it summoned something to capture him. Yeah. <laughs> you could make an unluck to capture or kill God. You could make an unluck specifically for God himself. That's so cool. That is so cool. That is actually so cool. Mm. Is of no use now that you're stronger. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Like at this point, it's kind of obsolete. Judy's nose? Oh, she has to kiss him to go back? Oh my god, Andy did it real quick. Well, he got that kiss. He got that kiss that he was asking for last episode. And she's fading away. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Damn, this has been so good. For... That's so good. See you in the here and now. No, no, that felt like two minutes. Oh my God. That was actually the shortest episode of all time. There's never, there's never been a shorter episode of an anime ever. There's, ne there's never been a shorter episode of an anime ever. That is so tragic. Oh my God, that was so good. The, like, like I said, the previous like several episodes where the recaps were too long, they were flashbacking too much. I kind of fell out of love with the show a little bit. I still enjoyed it, but not anywhere as near as much as the earlier stuff. Oh my god, these two past two episodes have brought me right back and reminded me why and how I grew to like this show as much as I did. Like these two past these past two episodes have been so good. They've been so good. Actually so goddamn good.
I don't even have much to say, honestly, as far as like end of episode discussion goes. There's not much to say. This episode was very straightforward, all things considered. We don't need to see the 18. We don't need to see what happened back in the 1860s because at this point, it doesn't matter. They're both infinitely stronger now. And we have realized that Fuko can base her unluck off the person in the best way to defeat them and give them an unluck based off of that. Andy has learned a ton of new moves now that Fuko changed his perspective on, on life and death so many good things happened this episode and I'm very excited to see where we go for the final two episodes of this season who knows if the show's, show's gonna get another season it's kind of popularity wise it's kind of fallen off a cliff to say the least um but I hope we get another season I really like this series a lot I think it has a ton of good parts and if the second season were to have less flashbacks and less recaps it'll be much better I, I have a feeling. Like I said, the flashbacks and recaps are really the only negative part of this show. There's not a blaring thing where I can think and be like, this part I haven't really liked besides that. Those really are what disillusioned me from this series at all in the first place. The show itself is really solid. Like there's like not many blaring red flags about this show besides that. So overall, like I said, these two episodes have really brought me back to what got me to love the series in the first place. And they were great. So I think that is going to wrap it up for my reaction to Undead Unlock episode 22. Hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you all have a good day.